At this moment our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are colliding. That's right, the collision has already begun. Stay tuned to find out what this means for us and if there is any danger. If you like it, I really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment, because that will get the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thanks a lot guys and welcome. The scale of our galaxy, the Milky Way, is unimaginable. Astronomers estimate that there are at least 100 billion stars that make up the Milky Way. Most estimations go however meanwhile much higher, even already from up to a half trillion stars is to be read. One of them is our Sun. The number of the planets is still much higher and lies surely with far over one trillion. There the question is superfluous somehow whether there is somewhere extraterrestrial life, so the Milky Way is one of the two leaders of our galaxy group, the local group. The other is the Andromeda Galaxy, which is two and a half million light years away from us. It was long assumed that Andromeda was much larger than the Milky Way, but in both extent and weight, it is becoming increasingly apparent that our Milky Way can probably rival the Andromeda Galaxy. Our galaxy and its sister Andromeda are in the process of colliding. This raises two questions, why are they colliding at all? And why are they colliding right now? Let's start with the first question. On the large scale, everything in the cosmos is actually moving away from each other. The universe is expanding and this is causing the distances of most galaxies to increase. I like to compare this to a raisin cake, probably because I'm always very hungry. You have a piece of dough with a lot of yeast in it and just raisins. You put the dough in the oven, the cake bakes up, and the raisins move away from each other. Space is the dough, the galaxies are the raisins and the baking powder is a mixture of the Big Bang and dark energy. Perfect metaphor. So perfect that maybe it's not a metaphor at all. Maybe we really do live in a giant raisin cake, and God is a gifted baker. But overdid it with the baking powder. I'm hungry. But it can happen that two raisins are so close together that they stick together and don't move away from each other. This is the case with the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy. They are so close together that their gravity outweighs the expansion of the universe. By the way, it is like that with all things on smaller scales. For example, yes, the gravity between us and the Earth fortunately outweighs the cosmic expansion. Imagine, you get up in the morning and before he can brush your teeth, you suddenly expand away from the Earth. Would be kind of stupid. So we remember, on the small scale, gravity dominates the universe, on the large scale, expansion is stronger. And that leads to the interesting fact that the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way are racing toward each other at a rapid rate of 120 km per second. So while you're just relaxing watching this video and enjoying the exceptionally nice and attractive host, the merging of the two star islands is getting closer and closer and this is nothing rare in space. Here you see just a picture of the antennae galaxies in about 66 million light years distance. These two star islands we see just in the middle of their cosmic unification. Of course we don't see this live, because the light from the two takes 66 million years to reach us. That, by the way, would be just the right distance for an observer from the antennae galaxies, watching Earth, to see the extinction of the dinosaurs. Oh, there it is. When two galaxies collide, they merge to form an even larger galaxy, and the two supermassive black holes at their centers also meet and become an even heavier black hole. So this is also in front of us, but actually most astronomers assume that the Milky Way Andromeda collision will take place only the at least two and a half billion years. There some of you will say now surely. Then the video title was pure clickbait. Of course not. I would never lure you with a clickbait title. Almost never. The collision has really begun, as astronomers have now found out. The two galaxies are in fact substantially larger than one thought for a long time. This results from the AMIGA project, which stands for Absorption Map of Ionized Gas in Andromeda. One evaluated for it each quantity of data of the Hubble telescope and thereby determined. The outer areas of the two galaxies already touch, the collision began. 
These outer areas are called halo and one can imagine them like a kind of atmosphere of a galaxy. Like a shell-like envelope, galaxies are surrounded by thin collections of gas and it is thought that star formation could even take place in these halos. However, it is extremely difficult to determine the exact dimensions of a galaxy halo, because they are just made up of very thin collections of gas. Only by very, very, very long observation time in several wavelengths, they can be detected and exactly this the Amiga project succeeded, so that we can now say hello to the halo. The halo of the Andromeda galaxy was found to be gigantic in size. It reaches 1.3 million light-years in the direction of the Milky Way, in the other direction it extends even 2 million light-years into the cosmos. Unimaginable, if one considers that the Andromeda galaxy in the actual sense possesses only 220,000 light-years in the diameter, how unimaginable the dimensions of the Andromeda halo are, you can see very nicely in this picture here. If the halo would not be so weak and would be better visible for our eyes, we would see it every night like this in the sky. Fascinating. And if we just apply that to the Milky Way, then we can just figure out if the two halos are touching. Information about the Milky Way is all very speculative, which is extremely tricky to gain information about your own galaxy, which you are inside and can't see from the outside. But most astronomers assume in the meantime that also the Milky Way is about 200,000 light years large. According to this, the Milky Way would hardly differ in its diameter from the Andromeda galaxy, but only in the number of stars. But as said, everything is very speculative. In any case, it speaks much for the fact that the halo of the Milky Way also possesses similar dimensions, like that of the Andromeda galaxy. Attention, here comes some math. The Andromeda galaxy is two and a half million light years away from us. Both halos probably extend at least 1.3 million light years toward the other galaxy. Bingo, the halos are touching. The collision has begun at the outer ends of the galaxies. I think it's a totally fascinating thought that at this very moment, already distant star systems of the two galaxies are interacting with each other. Because as I said, the halos are relatively empty, but there is star formation. So some lonely stars and their planets probably experience the galaxy collision just already at the own body. For us, it will still take a little while before the whole thing becomes noticeable. Only in some billion years the actual collision will begin, but already before that the Andromeda galaxy will be to be seen more and more clearly in the night sky. And when the actual collision begins, will it pose a threat to our solar system? Most astronomers think that nothing will happen to us. Luckily, because there is so much empty space between the star systems in the Milky Way that the two galaxies will probably just slide into each other, and planetary and stellar collisions will remain the absolute exception. We'll have to be really, really unlucky for our Earth to get rammed away like a billiard ball by an Andromeda planet, but apart from that, of course, a lot will change. When the galaxy collision is fully completed, which can take hundreds of millions or even billions of years, the two central black holes will have merged, there will be an incredible number of new stars in the night sky, and most importantly, we will need a new name for the newly formed galaxy. What should be the name of the new galaxy which arises from Milky Way and Andromeda? I answer to your wittiest suggestions, promised. But let's get back to very simple planetary problems. Perhaps we could not experience the galaxy fusion at all, because the Milankovitch cycles catapult us into an ice age. You'll learn all about it in the next video, so be sure to check back. And if you want to support my work a little bit, then click on the store button and get one of the t-shirts from the videos. Plush planets and real meteorites. Every purchase supports my work a lot and helps me to continue the channel. Thanks a lot guys. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.